Alexa, so welcome to Vasily's Garden. Folks, I love you to meet my family. Where are we? We're at the Geelong West Community Garden. Yes, and I have Rosemary with me I here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and who's here with us today? Uh, members and friends of mine for who live around this area. Yeah. And they're all interested in gardening. They all watch your show. Oh, isn't that lovely? Okay. Now, we've got some here from the garden here yep. at the club. Some members, yes. Hands up. Can I see who's part of the club? One in the background. Hand Roy, up, Roy, hand up. Don't Roy, be shy. Roy! Roy come Roy. on! <laughs> That's and okay. We we'll make it there. It's a mic. Beautiful. So we're going to go and take a tour around the garden, yeah. check out what they're growing in the veggies. It's springtime, so we'd be planting all our spring veggies we and will. flowers, huh? Exactly. Yes, have it's you got exciting. anything in your garden yet? I have quite a few things already, yes. All right, come well, and have a look. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go and take a tour. How many plots have you got here? There are 34 plots, although yeah. some of those are now half plots, so yeah. it might be something means we have about 40 members. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been? I've been a member since the early 1990s, and the garden yeah. itself started at the end of 1984. Wow. And you're president, obviously. No, I'm not. What? Obviously. No, I mean, I'm, I mean, used to be on the committee, but I haven't been on the committee for a while. No, no you haven't? No, no. no. Okay, fair enough. You've got a very colourful plot here. Did you do these mosaic yourself? I did, yes. Yeah. I just obviously enjoyed the mosaics. And, I think a garden should also be a work of art, so I like to incorporate these sorts of things as well. Wonderful. Plus they're practical. They are, they are. So yeah. you come in and it's inspiring to come into yeah, your garden. Yeah, yeah. What's the average size of the plots here? Roughly four by five. Four by five, yeah. okay. Which is quite adequate, yeah. I think, for a yeah. family to grow enough vegetables. That's true, that's fair enough. Yeah. And you can rotate it. You've got a lot of straw down here too. Do you actually yes. put any compost in the yeah, Oh, yes, because yeah. There are a few of us here from the John Gennett Gardeners, yeah. and we always say the soil is the main thing to work well, on. Well, it is. It's a living yeah. organism. So you've I got add to lots of that. compost. Yes. Yeah. And we, you notice that all the best plots are the ones where they add to nutrients to the soil. Yeah. Things yeah. just grow more easily. The yeah. soil texture here. What type of soil do you have around here? Is it clay? Is it sandy? Fairly clay. So we yeah. need to add um, things organic to, matter to it to break it to down break and it keep down it alive and yep. all that. Yep. So all the carbon as well, the straw that you're putting in the, in the mulch. Yeah. So it protects keep it, it, keeps it warmer, yep. adds to the nutrients, yeah, um, so stops the weeds. What would be the biggest that? problem that occurs in this garden here? Uh, for me personally, yeah. uh, I don't really have any problems because I'm always sort of tending it, always adding compost. Should I ask somebody else that question? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, how are you, my friend? Good, thank you. Oh, pleasure to be thank here. You. I'm very well. Now, when did you come here? Uh, I come in Australia or... Both? Uh, you can tell me everything if you like. In Australia, I come in <laughs> uh, 1971. 71? Yes. yes. And then yeah, the, no. in, the, in the veggie garden here, the or the veggie community garden? garden? Yeah, I come in 1983, when no. it's reorganised. When it first Perth. opened? You yes. were one of the first? The, yes. You were the first one? First one. You were the first one? Yeah. What was here before then? Before was uh, building tip. Oh, that explains the soil condition yeah. underneath. Yeah, so it's really bricks. You know, yeah, a lot of rocks and from, stones. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, they dump everything here. Yeah. So are you still digging up and finding pebbles and rocks oh, and stones? Still, a bit? you can find glasses and yeah. you know, everything there. Yeah. It's that, a bit of a treasure it. hunt. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So what have you been growing here over the years? I grow in everything nearly. Yeah. Yeah, beans, uh, broccoli, peas. Yeah, I see garlic, garlic potatoes. Ga garlic, potatoes, uh, shallot. Yeah, everything. Capsicum. Has the garden here, from the day you started, has it changed over the years? It is changed. Good, bad, different? Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. When we start first, lots of people know of experience yeah. in the garden. Yeah. And uh, everybody learning from each other. You yeah. know. And sharing. And sharing. And yeah. understanding what yeah. to do. And also men sharing veggies too. If, if I have plenty of veggies, so I give them give give away. Yeah, That's a good thing. That's what a community garden yeah. should be. Yeah. To learn, care and share with each other. But this is what it should be actually, yeah, you know, working is. at it a little bit at a time, at a time yeah. each day. I know some people do have a real problem with oxalis. They just don't seem to be able to get on top of it. So I don't know if you have any tips for oxalis weed. Well, the only weed spray that I would recommend anybody use is called Slasher. It's, okay. a, it's a herbicide, natural plant oil. It works by 
contact only, not systemic, non-systemic. So it doesn't travel through the plant sap flow. Mm -hmm. So it won't spread throughout the garden and affect oh, other right. plants. Yes, it yes. only works on contact and it knocks it down. So oxalis is pretty tough. Yep. One application will burn it, it may um, pop up again. So two or three applications, repetitive application mm -hmm. of it, will work. It will mm. exhaust the plant, mm. the bulbs will die off eventually. So that's mm. a safer way, safer for the environment, safer yes. for all the animals yes. and bees. And, yeah. Every other living organism. Well, we certainly around. operate under organic principles here. It's, yeah. it's certified organic as well, so mm -hmm. you can use that. So if you're going to use anything in your garden, mm. whether it's a herbicide, fungicide, uh, insecticide, make sure it's been certified as yep. organic and safe, especially for our bees. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Thanks for that, Mr. Lee. Wonderful. <laughs> There's some education for you there, folks. Yeah. <laughs> If you like Vasily's Garden, then you'll love the spring edition of Vasily's Garden to Kitchen magazine. Available at all good news agencies. Subscribe now at vasilysgarden.com. Folks, indigestion. How many times have you suffered with it? Well, probably the greater majority of the human race suffers with it at some stage or another. There's several things that are happening with indigestion and of course you need to look at your own personal needs and, and all your own personal history. but to soothe and settle the gastrointestinal tract, we can call upon some wonderful foods and maybe this formula can bring you some comfort. So what we're going to do is, is to have a look at some ginger, beautiful ginger, something along the lines of about this much ginger for you. Um, carrot, around about say, a small carrot like so. And then we also are going to take some apple. You'll notice that I'm keeping the peel on the apple. Chuck it all in. Just the one apple, we've got a small carrot and we've got ginger. Do you like my improvised infusion mug? We have the jar full of boiling water and here we have the dome that takes place to create the infusion and the steam coming up to get a distillation process working to get the entire therapeutic benefit of three chamomile tea bags. So we just give them a bit of a dunk and allowing it to cool down if you like. The next thing is pour that straight into the blender. We have half of the wonderful medicine we've just made. Here's some soda water and what we do with this is just do half of the product and half of the soda water. So just give it a little bit of a stir and now we have a delightful gastrointestinal digestive aid. A great way to have this is after a meal. Beautifully settling, very soothing, a powerful digestive aid and made from the simplest formula. So folks, until next time, find happiness in every moment. Honestly, you can taste the difference when it comes to eating fresh. Absolutely, food. absolutely. There's no comparison, is no. there? Lots of people not understand when you buy in a shop and when you grow, mm. they completely should just test to see what's yeah. different yeah. is. Yeah, if they could have a, a sample of yeah, freshly yeah, picked yeah, and, and one from a supermarket, yeah. That you know, in all due respect, it's a living, they've got to make an income and all that, and they do other treatments to get the vegetable to that stage yeah, yeah. and fruit. Yeah. But here, when you pick it, you pick fresh every morning fresh. or whenever every you need every to. Day, every every day, day. Yeah. 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 You pick a little bit, yeah. harvest, cook, go back and pick some more. Yeah, exactly. That's beautiful. Yeah. So what are we planning for spring here now? You haven't well, done much yet. Uh, not yet. Uh, soon. You wait to see what everybody else does, yes. right? <laughs> then I'm uh, preparing for my yeah. climbing beans. Yep. You can see stalks. Yep. Here. Yep. You're gonna get your beans uh, up. For beans. Sure. Tomatoes. We do tomatoes. Tomatoes. Here? Yes. Yeah. Do okay. and capsicum too. Nice. I have capsicum. Uh, which is like bell, chili. Yep. Chili hot. Beautiful. And that's from no. last year, the year before. Yeah. That's more than one you, year old, that's three. Leave, you can leave them uh, seven years. Yeah, seven years, exactly. Yeah. I can see that. That survives yeah, through yeah. the winter. And you can do that with capsicum, any, any type of capsicum, yeah, whether it's chili or sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Keep them for a couple of years yeah. at least, yeah. if not seven years. Yeah. Well, good luck with the springtime. I hope it all goes well. Thank you very much. And if you get and, uh, too much crop and too much vegetables, you ring I, me up. Yeah, I will. Don't worry, give it away. Ring me up first. For sure. Worry about these people over here. 
Roy, my friend, how are you? Thank you so much. Long time much. to see you. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're most welcome. Yeah. Yes. I came here, must have been about 10 years ago. Yep. Yeah, and I remember when I saw you that you were making some uh, yeah. flatbread. Flatbread, sometimes right. making, yeah. And there was other village bread too, because you got the wood oven here. Yes, uh, so much good for um, third age people. Oh, that's that's good for their mind, for yeah. their health. Yeah, community um, groups Coming to together. group, nearly 15 years on membership and working with lovely People. people that was so well, so nice the time you've been here like mike has been here it means yeah, the, a beautiful community that's so beautiful yeah. you wouldn't be enjoyed here we exactly. enjoyed that is good for yeah. our mind health yeah. and body as yeah. well yeah. and at the one on growing here what have you got uh, parsley yes lettuce yep Espinach. Beautiful spinach. Deal. Deal. I walked into this area yep. stupidly yep. Yep. because you've sown some <laughs> seeds here too, haven't you? <laughs> you know, we um, see a plank soil and we think, oh, we can just walk yep. here, but there's something here. <laughs> coriander yeah. seeds? Coriander okay. seeds. So I'm fertilizing it for you here now. Don't thank worry. You. You're welcome. Thank you. No, It'll grow that well. Matter. Just, <laughs> and everything is organic, yeah. even manual. No, yeah. no chemicals, no, no chemical No anymore. sprays, no insecticides, oh, no fungicides. No. Don't need to. Yeah. The best way to look after your plants is with Vasili's Easy Hand Spray. Order your sprayer now, available only at vasilisgarden.com. With the scent of spring in the air, it's an exciting time of the year where everything comes to life. Beautiful flowers brightening up the garden and with lots of edible plant varieties now becoming available, I just lose myself with endless ideas of amazing combinations of flavours for smoothies and juices. Just like today's smoothie, which I'm sure you will all love. First, I'm adding a handful of silver beet leaves. They are a great source of fibre. They help metabolise fats and support intestinal transit. Next, I have one egg white and yolk. The iron that is naturally contained in the egg yolk is the most readily absorbable and usable form of iron in food and is more absorbable than iron in supplements. I'm also adding one banana, which is a great source of energy. And the peel of the banana is great for your garden because of the potassium content. Plants take up potassium through their roots as food and if you bury banana peels around the base of your plants, you'll have better crops. And the rest of the ingredients include a teaspoon of chia seeds, one teaspoon of acai powder, two pitted dates, a tablespoon of peanut butter, one cup of water, and one cup of ice. Kuving's SV500 Vacuum Blender has the latest vacuum technology that detects the amount of air and removes it from the container. So what are the benefits? Well, you end up with a super smooth beverage with brighter colours and no separation of ingredients. The SV500 has an ultra high strength 3D stainless steel blade and a whopping 3.5 horsepower motor, able to pulverise any ingredient you add. This tastes so good and it's all made by my amazing Kuvings SV500 Vacuum Blender. For more beautiful recipes just like this, visit our Facebook page or our website. Enjoy and see you next time. Arch, how are you, mate? Yeah, good, thank you. <laughs> You've been pretty here. busy here, mate. <laughs> uh, well, it doesn't look like much, but right. it's actually... Um, What's going on here? We've got 100 potatoes in the ground. Yeah. 100 potatoes you put, yeah. put in? Two yeah. to a row, one to a row, two to a row. Why is that? Two, um, one, two. Well, I just thought, because then you can actually lean over on the double rows, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So okay. you can walk into it and you got access. My, yeah, dad, yeah. my dad taught me that, my parents yeah. are big gardeners. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah. so how far apart are the rows? Um, they're probably just maybe, uh, say, 400. You've got, what, about three or four rows in here, three rows? Uh, there's one, two, three, four, four, five, and I've even got one up at the fence there as well. Jeez, you're not mucking around. Just potatoes, <laughs> eh? That's all right. Let me guess, look, your favourite veggie? Um, probably potatoes. <laughs> Easiest to grow, too. <laughs> Is it? So how did you, what, what size are they? What, um, did you, what did you get? Did you cut them up? I actually or? went to the uh, Trentham Spud Festival. All right. Got a couple of big bags of different varieties. Yeah. Uh, Kiffler and yeah. uh, 
were they purple sapphire yep. and stuff yep. like that. Ate most of them. <laughs> and then As saved, we do. <laughs> saved a couple to make sure I had some that were shooting up for the garden. So. Okay, so you let them grow yeah. their legs and all that. And as my parents taught me, I even cut them in half, so yep. you get two to, two to one. At least two. As long as you've got an eye on every little uh, segment that you cut mm. out. Mm. But you've got to let it dry out properly before you plant it. Yeah. Yeah? Maybe? Yeah. Maybe. Well, I just put them in. I just put <laughs> just them in. I've got to get in time for spring because you've got tomato season coming That's up. That's right. So I keep I'm talking about these tomatoes. No one's got any. A bit of nice weather and we'll get <laughs> these out as well, then I can put the tomatoes in. Yeah. Now, the texture of your soil, I've spoken to a few already here saying it was pretty average soil over mm. here. Mm. Yours is slightly raised from everybody else. Mm. You've been adding a lot of organic matter and stuff yeah, into this. Yeah, a lot of horse Run me through manure. It. A lot of uh, horse yep. poo, a lot of um, leaves that we've collected. Yep. Even a little bit of sawdust. And I've even been throwing a bit of the ash from yeah. the pizza oven and Fantastic. the Fantastic, because the ash is on. just going to give yeah. them all that much more energy. That That's is right. great. So do you expect them to come up anytime soon? I was planning about two and a half weeks ago. Oh, it's so still early. I was actually hoping any, any day now, because they yeah. do have some decent shoots on them. So. Yeah. yeah, they'll push yeah. up, and when, once they do, there's nothing nothing stopping them, is That's it? That's right. Get right. nice coverage. And how long before you harvest? Um, I'm hoping so time myself. sometime around October. I should be here. <laughs> It'll be plenty Just in to... time when the tomatoes are going. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll be here to watch you pull them out and watch you plant them. What's your, what's your favourite tomato tip this year for what, what variety we should be thinking about? Oh, Is there one that you... Nothing better than the Big Malacca, mate. Big Malacca. Maresi. <laughs> <laughs> If you enjoy watching Vasili's Garden, well, I'm proud to announce that you now can become a Vasili's Garden member. All you need to do is go to our website and sign up today at vasilisgarden.com. So what do you get by becoming a member? Well, you get four new issues of our magazine per year, released seasonally and delivered right to your door. Plus, online access to all our magazine back copies that are packed full of great stories, gardening advice and delicious recipes as well. But wait, it doesn't stop there. By becoming a member, you also receive access to all our previous TV episodes from 7 to as well as our C31 and SBS series as well. That includes all the guests and places I've been to, all things natural with Dr Sandy Rogers, healthy habits with Eleni and great gardening tips from our friend Jason. Become a member and you'll have access to our members only discount. That's up to 50% off our online products. That's right folks, up to 50% off guaranteed. All the gardening advice, entertainment and products you need available to you all at the one place. That's VasiliesGarden.com. From me Vasili, Aresi. Healthy Habits Smoothies book is now available at all QBD bookstores or online at vasiliesgarden.com. And thank you for coming. Thank you. We are, Have we got any village bread today? Not today? <laughs> Not no. today. Oh, all no. right. <laughs> next time. <laughs> right. next I'll time. give you more notice next time because we were just driving by. We saw you here for a bit of stuff. Today was busy. <laughs> I'm working for one care. Cooking yeah. for more than 60, 70 you cook? people. You chef? Cook? Yeah, yeah, I cook. But we are a um, tea. There's a team. There's a part team of a team. Every Thursday. Lovely. Yes. Well, wonderful. Today I was busy. Yeah, well, yeah. So you yeah. were busy Next cooking all the time cooking. and you <laughs> race here to see me. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much That's for making all. the time. Thank you so pleasure. much for coming. Oh, Thank look, I'm, I'm, it's a pleasure to be it. here. Just don't pull out those Most weeds, that, that little one there. See that little one there? Is the stinging that nettle? Yeah. <laughs> That's good to eat, that one. That one makes you, no, 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 no. Green tea. Green tea. Green tea. We green can tea. make green tea we make and, and smoothie as well. And we cook it and we put it yep. in a pita, in the bread. Yep. Oh, with a little bit of feta That's cheese. Right. Absolutely. Next time we come. You didn't light up the wood oven, mate. Cook for you. Make some oh, special bread. All right. I'll hold you to <laughs> it. it. Stella, it's a pleasure to meet you. Very pleased to meet yeah. you too. Well, thank you for having us through <laughs> again. Now, is this all your garden? It is actually. Okay, because yes. there's a division two, here. Yes, I divided it up, but um, it is all my garden. Yeah. It is in a bit of a mess at the moment because I've been away for a few months, so I'm Where here for you? the first time. On holidays? I was on holiday. Well, I was visiting relatives in the okay. UK. Okay. Yes. So yeah. you, this was unattended for a few it months? It was unattended for a few months, so I've just come Doesn't to the look first like day it today. today. <laughs> this is your first day back. Yeah, wow, it doesn't your take long. Look, well, I tell you, you've trained your plants really well because they've looked after themselves <laughs> tremendously well. So you've got a bit of rhubarb growing here. You've got a little bit of everything going on well. Well, it's just that I was going away for a few months, so I thought I'd plant it and see what happened. Well, I have seen what's happened. <laughs> and it's a dry season too, we've had. Yeah, so yeah. no rain. No, so it's done pretty well. 
Well, yeah. it's done pretty well. That proves to you that if your soil's well prepared and it yeah. does hold its moisture, it's got its nutrients. It does. The plants will find their way of growing their roots out and, and feeding themselves. It does. As I say, yeah. those potatoes are a year old. Yeah. However, I must say, because this is a community garden, we do all help each other. Oh, you've got little <laughs> angels in so the garden. So there are people eh? who walk past and think it needs a bit of watering, so oh, people do help. That would have been this. nice too, yeah. as you would do the same yeah. for others. For sure. Well, yeah, keep up the great community. work. Yeah. yeah, enjoy it. And I'm so sure enjoyable. you're going to reap the benefits in the next few months. Well, it's wonderful because you can just share the garden, share it yeah. with other people, and that's what a community garden is all about. Well, they didn't take too much out of your garden, obviously. They looked after you. <laughs> they probably <laughs> took a bit. <laughs> all right, you know better. <laughs> and we've come to the back of the garden, folks, and we've got the lovely Lucy. How are you? Good, thanks. Now, you're relatively new here in the community garden. Yes. Yeah, how long? Um, about three months. Three months? Yep. Yeah. What inspired you to join? Um, I was sharing a plot with my cousin up yeah. there, and... Um, I'd come and do her gardening with yeah. her and, and then the opportunity came up to get a plot of my own so I yeah. took it up. Yeah, yeah. it's a little one, yeah. Yes, yeah, so... <laughs> you've, been, you've been summoned <laughs> Yes. The <laughs> Yeah, so I just come down, I've got a little boy in grade one, so okay. I just yeah. come down when I can. So I was down this yeah. morning when Ari was at kinder. All these branches are from your trees at home? Yes. Yeah, how many trees have you got there? Um, yeah, we've got a few. Yeah? Yep, yep. So are you gardening there as well, obviously? Yes. Yeah, but that's not enough, is it? Yes, no. <laughs> we did a little renovation and so I lost a bit of my veggie patch yeah. and because we've got two boys. Yeah. Balls and yeah, diggers and everything them. take over. So yeah. this is mum's space. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> loving it. What yep. are you growing at the moment? Um, just lettuce, leek, yep. spring onion, onion and garlic, and yep. some kale and some yep. broccoli. broccoli. Lovely. Yeah. And the straw. The purpose of this? Are you working your way towards all this area? Yeah. So yep. just because it was winter, that area was the only spot that got the sun. Okay. So I just focused Focus on, on there. That. Yeah. That's and then good. I've just um, put some paper and manure down. Yeah. Just. To under the pea straw. Get it yeah, ready. yeah. Lovely. Well, yeah. What, what are our plans for the spring? Um, yep, tomatoes. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Probably corn and yeah. just things that the boys like Lots to plant. Yeah. yeah, so I think they want to plant some pumpkins and things. Oh, good on you. Well, yeah. I, I hope you have any success on it. Yeah, uh, thank you. Lots of fruit and veggies coming out of it. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah, you'll be right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. See you next week. <laughs>